Gaming, back again for the Raiders Cutie Pie. Yo, 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 it's Gold Tooth Gaming. I'm here to show a few racing games on the Neo Geo system. This one's called Neo Drift Out New Technology. Uh, it also went under a couple of different names as well. So, yeah, we'll try this one first. And I'll bring it on to others and then comment, let me know which is your favourite, what you think to them, if you're any good. So, yeah, let's get into it. It's a pretty fun game, it's, it's kind of hard at times, you know, because you're using a joystick and it's like left and right, and it's. But, yeah, let's get into it. There's been a few people called that over years, haven't there? Eh, eh, eh. We'll go with that one just for control. I think I might need it, you know what I mean? So, yeah, let's have it. This one, wasn't it? If I didn't, no, oh, so I did alright on practice, but yeah, practice ain't nothing. It's the real deal we're after. Come on now. I think this game, boy. I think it still looks good to to this day. I think anyway. I don't know what you guys think, you know, for a retro game. Oh, right, that would have been a good shortcut, wouldn't it, if I'd have took the other one. To whirl it. Come on now, Bebba. She. <laughs> we actually finished it as well. I don't know how to manage to pull that one off. But yeah, it's a good game, but I think. I don't know what you guys think, anyway. So yeah. Keep going till we die, and I can't see it being long to be fair. Now, this looks good, this one. Checkpoint extended and then crash right away. What is going on? Half hour away. away. Still not too bad. That is one of them games for me. I think you've got to be really concentrated. So yeah, what an absolute monster of a game that is. So yeah, let's get on to the next one. Here we are with a second choice of a Neo Geo racing game. As you can see, it's, it's kind of similar. I don't think this one looks as good, but this one's called Overtop. But for me, I still think it's a good game. So yeah, let's get into it. Let's have a look, see what you guys think.
Yeah, but on to accelerate, I think it should, is it just B to reduce speed? Ah. I see. So this one's kind of got like a reverse, hasn't it? No, right, cars were here. <sighs> I don't even know. Oh, there's motorbikes and everything here. I don't know, I think it's pig Ferrari for me. It would hit big, big dog shit. Let's see which it pig me. Oh, do you see a lot there? Got that much power, it was moving all over the road. How the hell did I take that turn, that good bad? I definitely didn't take that one any good. Let's go next stage, you've seen look, because I mean it's on all it couldn't get no signal for map. <laughs> That's why you need That's why you might need a vehicle that's better at different terrains, I'm thinking. Yeah, there's no way this car that's used to uh, roads and pavements is going to keep up with a rough road type of vehicle on this terrain, is there? Let's get a checkpoint, I don't know how. So all that, we're absolutely terrible, I had to reverse and everything at one point. <laughs> Flipped it a lot. Jeez. Yeah, it takes a bit more getting used to than that um, last game. Well, I don't even know what's happening here. I know that if you put 20p in or 10p, you'd be loving it at a minute, wouldn't you? Oh, look at this terrain for Ferrari. Oh dear. Yeah, imagine this when he's taking it in for service next time. You'd be like, well, who's took your out for the journey because your absolute mangle would be like gold tool for now and I'm sending them on. 20 grand on suspension. Needs a new clutch. It's dinted all over. Might as well buy a new car. Oof. Tell you what, he didn't want to turn in that snow vest. So to be right, you've got to see it like a turtle race, aren't you? Where it's alright going for the fast car from the start, you want a vehicle that can deal with sort of like all terrains. See if you don't get that much of a brilliant start at first with one of the slower wheels, you'll probably end up uh, catching up later on. Let's go next stage, ready. But yeah, it is still a fun game, even though I'm absolutely rhubarb at it. But yeah, it is my first going, like, I don't know, 20 odd years, maybe more. Just getting used to joystick and movement, it's a really weird uh, sort of game for a joystick. so well for so long there as well time up so yeah 
What an absolute beaut. So it shows where I've gone. Village to the lakeside to the mountain to the desert. I don't know where more parts of it was, but yeah, it's a very, very fun game, that. So yeah, shall see you on the next one. Next up, we've got Farash Rally 1991. As you can see, like another sort of like top down sort of like racer. So, yeah, let's give this a whirl. Let's see what you think. Let's remind me what I think. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Thunder Jets. Monte Carlo Monaco. As you can see, look, this is a bit more higher uh, view from others are. It moves a lot keener though, this is uh, pretty sensitive, this with movement. <laughs> Whoa, mine! <laughs> it's hard to tell which way it carries as well when it spins around. Come on. I was just praying then it uh, left my car facing the right direction because otherwise, yeah. But yeah, I've got to say though, it is a really fun game still. It's just really sensitive on joysticks, so it would take a bit of getting used to, you know, to actually come half decent, should I say. Ooh, yeah, I really did enjoy that. That was pretty similar to the last one, but yeah, let's get into the next one. And for the last game in this racing series for the Neo Geo, it's a motorbike game called Riding Hero. See, when this came out, a lot of people know that I used to work in a video game store. Back when this came out, and it was an import game store, so we'd get Japanese games in well early, we'd get everything really. And this one at Neo Geo. Neo Geo titles where it just keep coming back in, people want to come and trade it in or wanting to come and sell it because people thought it was rubbish and I bought it because I bought it really cheap, it had come and it had come and it got down to a price where I thought I'm just going to buy it and keep it and I never liked it then at all, I used to think the game was terrible and I mean I used to think it was terrible, there were two titles that were early on where I thought it was really bad and it was this one and uh, The Legend of Success Joe which was a boxing one, I used to think they were both terrible, this and that. But, it's been, I don't know, 30 years since I've played it. See, you never know. It might have changed my mind, we'll see. Accelerator brake turbo, ooh. You know what, I'm just hoping it plays better than what I do remember because it's hard to tell though, because back, back, back in that era, it was like, I'm expecting more than what I should get, but looking at this, probably not. For a Neo Geo Gate title, it, it's just not there, is it? Still. Ah uh, shit, I'm back on my dog shit. Even when you've like overtaken somebody, you just don't get no satisfaction. It just feels really flat and <laughs> yeah. I'd probably go as far as saying that even Super Hang On. 
Oh, hang on, should I say, on Master System, probably plays better than this. It really, really hasn't got any better since I remember. But can you imagine back in day, um, this game, it used to retail new for £120. In 1990 and 1991. But that's still a lot of money now for a game. And you'll get this home and it's... Yeah, you won't be that impressed, would you? Oh uh, shit, I'm back on my dog. And people used to bring it back almost within a day or two and try and swap it for something that were good and that they could play because when you've got £120 pounds sat in a game, you don't want it to be this, to be fair. And it's such a shame because potential for Neo Geo on a bike game could have been absolutely incredible. But saying that though, there's probably these people out there that do like it. You might be looking at it now thinking, yeah, yeah, it's alright. But, yeah, they're just not my thoughts. I'm still not keen of it, to be fair. Yeah, Outrun absolutely kills this, you know, like you feel like you could get in somewhere, backgrounds are moving, it's like the same kind of like background on this, but it's just side-scrolling. Outside looks same. Yeah, for me, Neo Geo, that was a very, very lazy game. But like I say, I'll leave it down to you guys, put in comments which you thought were best Neo Geo racer that I've shown today and yeah keep safe keep sexy keep retro keep fly keep all the above and keep anything you wanna because do you one last thing before I go remember your ABCs always be cool gold tooth peace